Hi, I'm Laurent, and I'm going to show you today how to use the 454 Nubler assembler to assemble 454 sequences into longer contigs. Here on this page, you can see the My Genome Quest page, which is the page where I have all my results stored, and among them, the list of uploaded nucleotide databases I've sent to the Genome Quest server. As you can see, there's a lot, and most of them have been shared with me by some friends and here I want to focus on this specific data set called NC for North Carolina wastewater plant and I'm going to open this database of reads, 454 reads uh, from a sequencing experiment done with a 454 FLX platform and now I'm broadening those 353,000 reads here on this page now what I want to do is to focus on the Acidovorax reads, the reads that have been annotated by Acidovorax uh, sequences. I just have to type this keyword here and press apply or hit the enter key. Now I'm going to drill down into the reads specific to Acidovorax and as you can see here in the description or the organism there's a list of Acidovorax sequences and I could expand the rows to have more information about those specific reads annotated by Acidovorax. Now let's scroll back up and go to the applications to perform this assembly. As you can see there's an option called assembly and I'm going to choose Nubler. Now I can define a few more advanced options for Nubler on this page, as you can see, I can give a name to the resulting database, which is going to be called NC Wastewater Acid Overax. And I could change a few parameters, for example, have a shorter overlap with a lower identity. So here now I'm asking for an overlap of 25 at least, and at least 80% identity. So now let's export those reads to the new blur assembly tool, and you will see the new My Genome Quest page showing up with another entry in my databases which is going to be the NC Wastewater Acid Overax. Now it's going to take a few seconds to work and now you can see that it's finished. I could click on this link to access those contigs. Now we can see that with those default parameters are slightly changed. We have 9% of the reads assembled and we could decide to browse this database of contigs to keep working on them. Now we can see a few contigs, about 300 contigs, which are longer than the original sequences. And now we could decide to export them to reports, Word, Excel reports, or even launch other applications. For example, go to the sequence search page of Genome Quest to compare those contigs to other databases. For example, perform a Blastex and compare to some protein databases. And now the new page is loaded and as you can see we can compare those nucleotide sequences preloaded to other databases which could be protein for example, Uniprot, RefSeq, etc. So that's it for today. Thanks for your time. Bye.